Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel once again. Here with another Thunder Tier 1 video. This time today, we are starting our Realism Campaign. Now, this single player Realism Campaign will run us through all of the story missions, one by one, assuming we complete them, with a preset point and preset um, day and weather settings. We do not get to change that. What we do get to change, however, is our guys here and our own loadout. Now, what we're going to start by doing is just having a look at the briefing real quick for this mission, and then we will crack right on with the loadouts and then the mission itself. So let's have a look at the briefing. Thunder One, our mission is to put a stop to the rising terrorist activity within this country's borders. To that end, We've identified a terrorist stronghold on the outskirts of Zikonyev. We have reason to believe that during a recent visit, a high-ranking member of their organization left behind instructions for new recruits. These instructions contain vital information about their plans. We need you to infiltrate the compound, neutralize all hostiles, secure the evidence, and evacuate the area. Your insertion point is on the road outside the compound. The forces on site are inexperienced, but they know enough to be on their guard, so proceed with caution. The evidence we're after is somewhere in the main house. Once the hostiles have been neutralised and the evidence recovered, return to the roadside gate for extraction. Thunder One, our mission is to put us. So, that was the briefing for the mission there. So here on the Operation Order tab, we can just have another look over it at our own pace. Now, as you can see, got location, the date is the 18th of Feb 93 and our objectives are to eliminate all threats and to find evidence connecting to the terrorist uh, connecting the terrorist to Marco now as it said inside this compound is just terrorist plans uh, we basically have to take out everyone inside and find those plans now This execution, I mean, just gives you some extra information if you want to read through it. Uh, so obviously, we'll be deployed out here on the road near the gate. We can enter through the roadside gate. You can expect to find soldiers there, and you'll need to neutralize everyone and the people in the barn. Once you've cleared the barn and the yard of all enemies, you'll need to gain access to the main house up here. As you can see, the description of the main house here is a small farmhouse with three rooms on the ground floor and a basement. The front door is locked at all times. Now, if we go back over here, it tells us two entrances, the main door and a back entrance into the basement. The main door is always locked. You'll need to pick it if you are planning a stealthy approach. Inside, you will need to neutralize all hostiles before searching the house. The basement appears to also be guarded layout is unknown. When every hostile has been eliminated and the evidence secured, return to the main gate for immediate extraction. The extraction vehicle is HMMWV. Now, you can have a look at the um, Intel tab and it gives, gives you a bit of extra information. want to read through that you can pause it here and just read through that information i've read through it in the past so i'm not going to go through it again here now so now we go back to the gear up And by default, this is our team here. Now, for this mission, whilst I kind of want to go stealthy, I also want to go fast with the approach. So, what we're going to do, we're going to change the here 
And uh, I'd like another assaulter. Slayer seems to be quite accurate. So we're going to get Slayer here. For his kit. He's got an MP5 by default. We're just going to swap that to the MP5 SD6. Just going to add a laser. Now, as for his headgear, we're going quite light. I'm going to put, give everyone a little lash earpiece here. So nothing major. We don't need too heavy armor on this mission. We're going to keep ourselves quite maneuverable. So we're going to stick with the MK2. Yeah, like such. Now, don't really need a backpack on Slayer here. So we're just going to remove that as well. I doubt we'll get much use out of a sidearm, so I'm just going to remove a few magazines there, making him a little bit lighter, and give him an extra frag grenade. Also going to add a suppressor to his sidearm. As for headgear, we don't really need anything, so I'm going to leave him without one. We're going to add elbow pads and knee pads to him. He already has gloves, and we will leave them on him as well. And that here is pretty much Slayer how we need him. I'm just going to change the patch on his shoulder. We're just going to put it as thunder. We're going to give everyone a thunder flag. Slayer is American, so we'll leave him with a USA flag on him. Now, as for camo, I think as he is, is actually all right. All we're going to do is change from the US Woodland to the British DPM. Like so. Now, that is Slayer done. Over to Blush. So, we know Slayer is an Assaulter. So, we are going to bring a Breacher also with us. Just in case. Just looking at their base stats there on the right. I believe Dutch will be a better fit here. So, we have Dutch. Starts to faulty with a Remington. However, because we want to go somewhat... Stealthy, we're going to give him the AS Val here. We're going to remove a bunch of his uh, 1911 mags. We are going to leave him with both the lockpick and the demo charge. He also has two frag grenades, that is perfectly fine. Because he might be breaching, we are going to give him heavy armor. Just gives him a chance. A slightly better chance of survival against lower caliber firearms. I'm going to give him the knee pads and the elbow pads as well. To make sure he is DPM. We are going to change his packet here. Or Pascot, sorry. Or PASGT helmet. Over to the MK6 with cover. And we're just going to DPM this as well for the base part. Just going to make sure the straps are trap. So this is now Dutch. And he is set up for how I would like him for this mission. Now as for Hattrick, we're going to change him out as well here. Thinking of bringing a recon with us this time. So. Looking at the base stats for the recon... We will bring Grizzly. Now, just going to add the suppressor to his G3. He's going to be sitting slightly further back, so we are going to leave him with a tier 1 class armor. But we are going to change it to the PAS GT armor here, just because it gives slightly better mobility. Changing that once again over to Olive Drab, just so the camo kind of fits over with everyone else. Jacket can stay, DPM trousers are going to go Drab as well in this case. Or well, maybe not, adds a bit too much. We'll go dark brown there. Just to change it up a little. Uh, his vest here, his DPM, we're going to give him a slightly bigger vest, however. Give him the assault rig as well. I'm going to make sure the details here are in fact dark brown. Nope, olive, we'll go olive drab as well, why not? 
We'll leave him with a baseball hat. I don't really need the sunglasses, however, we're gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna leave him with a headset. He can have the headset. And that is him how I would like him. So we're gonna leave Grizzly like that. Just gonna make sure Dutch has an earpiece. Dutch does. And so does Slayer. So we're good there. Dutch, we are just gonna add an extra magazine or two for his sidearm right there. Just so the game stop flashes stops flashing low ammo at us. So I will probably be towards the head of the pack majority of the time. So I'm gonna bring the MP5 SD6. Put a laser on it. It is night time here, so I have night vision on. I will make sure the rest of the team does have night vision. I did forget about that. Because I'm gonna be near the front, I'm gonna bring the MK6. Not gonna bring full tier four armor or class four armor. I'm going to bring class three armor here. We're just picking a vest that I think will go will be the most useful for this loadout. I'm actually going to change to the top to so drab here and change the trousers back to DPM. Yeah, that's better, that's less clashy, in my opinion. I'm gonna change the jacket here. I don't feel like I need it, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit of extra mobility by going in a t-shirt. Gonna add some normal magazines for the MP5 here. I don't feel like we need anything um, more powerful than this, really. Don't need the AP because they are light armored forces within the compound. Gonna change our electronic lockpick to a medkit, just in case. We are actually going to bring a slightly bigger vest here. Because I would like to bring some extra flashbangs. And there we have it. That is how I'd like our team for this mission. Just give you an idea. On this night road here, like this, just gonna give Slayer the PVS head mount here. Dutch, them as well. And Grizzly will have to change it off the cap, give him Baboony, and we will give him the goggles as well. Grizzly's top for some reason has Brazilian flag on it, he is Canadian. And they are all Team Thundered. So this is us here. Let's crack on with the mission. All units, this is Zeus. Radio check and sit rep. Over. Roger that, Thunder One. Mission update follows. Confirmed presence of at least 10 tangos inside Alpha and Bravo. Zeus out. So, as we can see here, we will insert somewhere outside here on the road. And by using the thermal penetration on the UAV here, we can just scan over the buildings and the compound and see where the hostiles are and get a rough idea. Now, by looking here, see there's three inside Bravo and it does look like the door here is cracked. That can be used to get a flashbang or something in, provided we can take out the courtyard stealthily enough. 
There's four people inside the courtyard. Two out back that seem to control this garden area. Two currently out back that seem to patrol around the main house. Now, inside the house, there is quite a few people. Seems like we have about nine hostiles inside. We do not know at this time who is upstairs and who is downstairs. So we will start by obviously approaching the front. We will move in. We will try and secure this courtyard as best we can. Upon doing so, if we take this courtyard stealthily, we will attempt to take Bravo stealthily also, before securing the remainder of the house. If we fail to take out the courtyard stealthily enough, then we will hold position towards this gate and take out any hostiles that may or may not push us. Upon taking out any hostiles that are pushing us, we will make sure we have secured Bravo before approaching Alpha. So, let's crack into it. So welcome in. First mission. Thunder One, this is Zeus. Operation Red Sword is a go. You are weapons free. Proceed with caution. Zeus out. So, just gonna swap my pistol here. Hold. Quietly take out the light. Just heard one of the tangos inside. Sounds like they may have heard that break. Inside Bravo. We can see they're a little on edge currently. May have not been the best idea to take out the lights, but it is giving us less visibility when we're in the shadows. most of these street lights out. I'm going to swap back to our primal weapon here. It's going to hold here outside the gate. Now, Grizzly, being our recon, we're just going to move him to go into the cover. Here. Copy. Weapons hold. Roger dead. Going to make sure they're holding fire. Our Dutch is going to go join Grizzly behind that table. layer it's also just going to go move around Slayer will be in the open here unfortunately because there is no real cover we're just going to use the UAB looks like Bravo's come back down now Now we've got to worry about new guys coming around the side of the house here. Be advised, enemy is aware of our presence. Unfortunately, because he shot, they down over here. So, I'm going to go to what was our contingency plan. We get Dutch to take cover there. Slayer's going to go take cover up there. Is going to take cover there. 
That is now Bravo secure. So, what we will do now, we're just gonna hop on the UAV. So we can see there's two targets over here. We are just gonna let our team open fire. They know say no, we're here anyway. seems they might have moved away. So we're just going to get Dutch around that side so I can go with him. Or he's going to regroup on me. Slayer to come around this side, take cover Into over cover. here. Cover. Cover. Fortunately, it's gone loud. Not, not to worry though. Shouting through these doors. Just gonna get Grizzly to use the door, I guess. Shaky, just trying to get these guys to uh, Body. no, stay with me. Here is what we're gonna do, though. So we can just open the window, and we get to hop out now. Seems they've opened the basement door for us here. Grizzlies just run in, take cover there, and as Grizzly gets down here, we will rush in alongside him. There we go. So now we've got a search room, so we can see a locker here. All units, this is under one actual. Area is clear. I say again, area is clear. This locker does not contain things that we need. We see another locker here. Sweep through objective Alpha and Bravo for any possible intel. Out. No intel in this locker either. So now we just check both of these rooms. And there we go. So now we have the intel. Roger that, number one. Proceed to extraction point and wait for evac. Kiss out. So now, was this clean this mission? Not by any means. But we did it. 
Nobody's got hurt. We can make our way out. And there we have it. That is the first mission complete. We've had no one die, which is just useful. We took the compound, we did the objective. As you can see, we also completed a random contract that I didn't realize I even had. Now, next is Operation Silver Dew. However, Afraid. This is going to be the end for this one. If you want to see what happens in Operation Silver Dew, then please tune in next time when the next episode is out. If you haven't seen any of the guides or the overview of the game yet and wish to, I will link the rest of the Thunder Tier 1 playlist down below, as well as my Twitch and my Discord if you wish to watch live or watch me play other silly games. Uh, or just, you know, join a hopefully growing Discord and help out there. No when I post videos and uh, go live on Twitch and all that sort of jazz. But, until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>